serious about like doing some type of back work that you're trying to overload the back, you either need to make sure that you have this set up or you do seal rows. And you can just you can just YouTube a video of seal rows and it'll pop up and show you what a seal row is. But it's a good way to isolate the back. Um, you can cheat a little bit on a T-bar row, but on a uh, on a seal row you can't cheat. So it's just a great variation to be able to overload the back. Make sure you get you a nice squeeze at the top. <clears throat> you can go anywhere from eight to 12 reps on here, four to six sets. Good work. Now let me tell you what. What's it work? That's like that's another thing that people don't understand. When when you're comparing, and I'm not just saying me. Let me say it in general. When you're comparing people that lift weights to people that are in competition and things like that. So when you're talking about the gap of like someone who benches 225 compared to someone who benches 325. Weight is weight, but at the end of the day, they're in a separate league. You can't put them two together, you know? And, and once you're getting up towards five, six, seven hundred pounds, weight doesn't even matter because you're starting to defy the laws of the human body, you know? So at the end of the day, man, I get compared to a lot of people. And some people, some people don't even lift in a competition. They don't even compete in competition. So it's just like, I don't put forth any energy towards it. Just to kind of give you guys shit, put some light on that situation is, yes, I'm 400 plus pounds. Yes, uh, compared to a lot of people, they're gonna say that uh, Julius is, oh, he's, uh, he's 400 pounds, he should be able to lift 600 pounds. But it, it doesn't work like that. You know, once you get to a certain weight, like, body weight, at the end of the day, doesn't matter, you know? We're talking about doing something that nobody in the history of the world has ever even thought about. 800 pound bench press? Man, we're on the way. We are on the way. We're gonna make it happen. I'll just go. If you want to have longevity in lifting, guys, you want to make sure that uh, you start out with lighter weight. Lower the intensity, crank out the reps, warm up. That's a big reason why a lot of people have, uh, you know, problems, you know, where, where they can't lift heavy weight because they abuse, I'm going to say abuse the privilege. You know, you just went in and was very careless with, with your workout ethic, and um, and that could be because you know you didn't have a coach or you didn't study up on it. You just went in and started slinging around heavy weights because it looks cool, and you know you suffered an injury that you can't recover from. So we'll never recover financially from this.
body odor. The muscles isolate them. Isolate them. The hyper crush got me folded over here. MHP hyper crush pre workout will definitely give you a jolt. A jolt of energy. On these, I like to warm up to a heavier weight, my top set, and then do two sets of M-Reps. M-Rep set means as many reps as possible. I do that whenever I'm hitting many different variations throughout the gym just to kind of cut down on time. Cause I mean, if I was doing that and trying to work up to like five sets of 15 or 20, I'd be in here all day. And uh, can't be in here all day. Some people like to do dumbbells. I do dumbbells, but I'm saying some people like to do flat bench with the barbell multiple times a week, sometimes three times a week. No, it's not that we're doing that. Let's just look at it as in we're just gonna hit chest twice a week. And what I mean by that is you don't always have to do flat bench. We can uh, utilize machines. Machines are great. You can control the weight. You can really think about the muscles you're gonna use and really focus on give it max effort as far as how many reps you're going to give and just really just think about it like trying to be explosive control and uh, you don't have to worry about the weight getting away from you I like to go pretty light on these machines technically it's not light but um, what I mean by light is like total of four plates but I like to do these and do some MRAP sets on these Really focus on squeezing the chest and uh, firing with your triceps. That's what I said, like, when I say I'm different or, or however we look at it, I mean, like, I do. I, like, I train different. I don't train like your average um, person you would say is a power lifter. Um, I use a lot of machines. Uh, anything that I can really target that muscle and, and, and really, like, figure out a way that I can surpass the way I trained a week before. So just keep pushing the envelope. Let me change this playlist up. Let's get some video here.
trying to fight that corona. I feel like I'm Bane of Batman. <laughs> Am I <laughs> <jacked> like it? <laughs>